guys, it's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and just swapping out this tub spout. So I'm gonna do a quick video to show you how easy this is. Uh, this home was built in the late 90s and as such, you get some of these white trim kits and finishes. Uh, this one is a Delta and it's, even though it's 20 years old, it's pretty easy to take off. So if yours was not that easy, you could put a towel around this and then get some channel locks and softly grip it and then turn it counterclockwise and you should be able to break loose the probably calcium deposits holding it on there. Now there are a few different types of tub spouts. This one, you have an adapter on. So some of these, a lot, almost all of them, you'll see this little hole here. Sometimes the hole is larger. These, there's actually a set screw in there. And then that set screw uh, would be what actually holds it onto just a copper pipe that's coming out of the wall. Others will come out a little further and they'll have a nipple on the end. And then that will screw into the adapter up front. This one has this, uh, this adapter already on. So it goes copper pipe, nipple, Teflon tape, and then this is actually screwed on here. You'll also see this type of uh, adapter placed on, uh, soldered on, on the pipe, which this one can be either screwed in like it is in this example or um, soldered on. So this component, uh, just the spout diverter, I got off Amazon. Uh, there will be a link in the description. They usually do come with that same adapter. So you might be in a situation where you would need to install this. Um, the challenge is if this pipe, copper pipe, was coming out with a nipple on the end, it's not going to be at the correct distance. So you would have to, at some point, uh, cut the pipe. I think it's like half inch to an inch and a quarter uh, between the wall and when this adapter would start and you would have to get the appropriate nipple on there. If you look around, uh, if this is, a, is not the type that you have, there's a plenty of videos out there that will show you how to install this adapter. But what I'm going to do is I will um, replace that o-ring. So this setup is gonna work for the new replacement, but I'm in here, O-rings are a serviceable component, um, and that new adapter did come with one on. So I'm just gonna use that new O-ring and place it on the existing adapter. Be careful putting it on there. Try not to roll the O-ring too much. Um, even though it's pretty tough to put it on without a little bit of roll. Okay, so usually in installing any sort of plumbing fixture, you're going to use Teflon tape. In this case, I am not. The seal is going to be created between this O-ring and the inside surface here on the actual spout. So it, this one is literally as simple as just screwing back in and I'll, I'll, I'll be updated. Why well, I like these components too is they're pretty forgiving in terms of you don't have, a, have to have them positioned exactly at the correct distance away from the wall to get a nice finished look because there's actually quite a bit of threaded surface internally. So you can be half inch off and they're still gonna work. Okay, so I'm getting close. You can hear it. So you always gotta decide, do you want one more turn or not? Now it's getting pretty solid to the wall, so I think I'm good there. And remember, that O-ring is what's creating uh, the sealable surface. So that's it. Uh, as you can see from white to brushed nickel, especially once I clean that up, that's a big difference. Uh, so it's much, much easier than most people think. Um, if you have a different type of spout, again, look around, you'll see ones with set screws 
that you can go ahead and see how to uh, replace those. And then also ones that might have the threaded uh, adapter all the way out here at the end. So best of luck on your project.